guys, ciao ragazzi, Italia is here, please make some noise for Italians guys. Okay. Luca Romano from La L'Avocado di Delatomo. So you guys, you have the floor. Hello guys, my name is Salvo and I'm a member of Comitato Nucleare Ragione. We represent the most active for nuclear association in Italy and we organize the stand up for nuclear. As you probably already know, nuclear energy was banned in Italy with two referendums, the first in 1987 and the second one in 2011. And say again, three months after the Fukushima accident. What a weird coincidence, isn't it? Do you think so? And then the effect of these decisions are that more than 70% of the energy is imported and the main source of electricity is natural gas, okay? It is imported as well. I don't want to bother you with the long environmental and geopolitical discussions concerning the dependency on gas and coal and from other country, maybe despotic country, you know? One is very close from us, so I don't want to speak loudly too much. By the way, um, what I think today is really, uh, honestly, and no more, no more pitching, Just, I speak with my heart, you know? I always follow uh, German, uh, I love German cars, I love German uh, uh, girls, you know? And I really follow a lot of, I mean, I take yours like light, light uh, house, you know? And really, I, today I try to describe what's happening with my Berlinese friends, Donny, he's just here around, probably. And, uh, and say, what, what's, you, you're convincing me, my wife, we're so stupid, why we do this decision to face out nuclear, if it's so good? For that point, you, you, you spotlight and say, I don't know, Donnie, probably, uh, I don't know, it's, it's ideological things. It's uh, something that's a concern, something that is not rational, okay? And, and today I want to say uh, thank you guys, because I think that uh, probably we are going to pass you for the next future in the, I hope in Italy, come back to this referendum and uh, choose again to uh, re, re go in into nuclear. And, That's my uh, occasion today. So I say thank you, guys. It's not a goodbye, actually. It's a see you soon. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much for the welcome. And please make some noise, guys, because this is really sad what I just said. It's just you in the other side of the door. So please make some noise and make some claps, guys. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Luca. Um, I'm happy to see people around the square protesting against the closure of nuclear power plants. However, I would like to see a lot more. My question today is, where are all the others? Where are Fridays for Futures? Where are the climate people who care for the climate? Closing these three reactors today will increase carbon emission of 30 million tons in per year for the next decades. If any other government did any other policy that caused so much increase in carbon emission, we would have environmentally stormed the fucking town. And I don't see them today. The carbon emission of these three reactors could offset five times all the carbon emission from, from private jets in Europe. Combined with the three reactor Germany closed last year, they would offset the entire European air traffic. Closing this three reactor today adds the equivalent of three million SUVs to the streets, or five million normal cars. It's basically like decarbonizing the entire city of Paris. If you're concerned for nuclear safety, well, Closing these three reactors will increase mortality in Germany. The closure of the German nuclear program is adding 1,000 premature deaths in Germany every year. If you think nuclear plants are slow to build and costly, well, these are already up and running and it's a waste of time and money even more. So where are people who care for the climate today? I would, they should storm the city. We should see an ocean of people protesting today. And I think that people yet don't have very clear that this policy is a disaster, is a climate crime, is what they call ecocide. And I don't see them protesting it. Their silence is deafening. Thank you very much. Ciao, guys. Bye. Thank you very much. Salvo, thank you, Luca Romano from Italy. Big cheers.